Let's go live right now to 7 Action News reporter Andy Choi with reaction from city retirees on these latest developments. So what are you hearing tonight, Andy? Yeah, Carolyn, you know, retirees will tell you they understand bankruptcy takes a long process, but it pales in comparison to the commitment that these retirees say they put into the city. I dreamed about when I retired, I could sit down and have a decent life. Like the photo in his hand, the colors of Donald Smith's dream continue to fade. After 29 years working for the city, the Detroit retiree says medications are a huge part of his expenses. Bankruptcy judge Stephen Rhodes held off on a decision to block proposed health care cuts to retirees. Those cuts are slated for March 1st. Half the time I got to figure out whether I'm going to eat or not. Now you're talking about March the 1st when they go and change this, it's going to get worse for me. And what does Smith think about Governor Snyder's proposal to use state funds to protect Detroit pensions and the DIA? Because the people want to save our art museum and want to give us a little bit, now he's trying to go and justify himself. This is a ploy for an election. So this doesn't seem genuine to you? No, it's not genuine. Critics of Smith's reaction may find him ungrateful, but in the sunset of his life, the 69-year-old says his greatest critic may be himself. If this man saw this man, what would he say? He would call me a fool. <laughs> He would call me a fool because, like, all the promises that were given to this man have been lies. Again, that health care injunction request set for January 28th. More to unfold, of course, but as you heard from the retiree there, the damage has been done. We are live in downtown Detroit. Andy Choi, 7 Action News. Carolyn? Yeah, Andy, we've all heard from so many retirees who really don't know what they're going to do with custody health care or their pensions. All right, thank you so much, Andy.